Hey guys, Mike with Flight Sim Global here. And if you don't know what Flight Sim Global is, uh, we do repaints, commercial videos, and professional video reviews. And uh, you can find us at flightsimglobal.com or Facebook, flight slash Flight Sim Global, uh, if you want to check us out and see what we have the offer. So, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the TDS 737 repaint kit and its finer details. Uh, I say this because when I've been looking at AvSim, for example, and their Southwest repaints, uh, people are forgetting some smaller details when just doing a repaint like this. Um, so that's what I wanted to focus on, is the smaller details on like how to make it more accurate and get the uh, windows right, the texturing on the doors and everything, and underneath the plane. And that's what we're going to focus on. Uh, we're not going to focus on repainting this plane, as you see I've already done. Um, you, I have other videos posted for that, actually, so you can check those out. I'll link them in the description if you want to look at how to paint this plane. But, um, yeah, getting started right away, uh, when repainting this plane, uh, it's straightforward. It's not hard to repaint this plane. Uh, it's more hard looking in between layers for things. So, I just want to pull up our photos here. Uh, you notice this gap right here? Uh, there's a window taken out so usually TDS will give you a window right here which on this file I've already done I've removed it and that can be going into your windows file right here and you go into your base windows and just deleting it you know right here so it re it'd usually be like right here your other window but I deleted it so it's gone but uh, that's one thing to fix that. Get get rid of those windows, you know. And next up is your doors. It's uh, another simple task. Go to your doors. Warning label, Southwest makes theirs white. Just double click the layer. And go to your color overlay and select white. See, I can make it anything really I want. It's that simple as a fix. Um, next up is your actual doors. So, see? Same thing, not a big issue. Just trying to point these out and help people uh, in the future with the repaints just to get the finer details. Uh, but Southwest, I noticed their overwing exit, uh, whatever the E and the S touch on the overwing exit, it's gray. So I, how I do that is uh, I'll duplicate the layer, I'll go to cover overlay, select white, and now go down to my Southwest text control click the layer which will select it all and I'll just delete it and oh, I'll delete the overwing copy <clears throat> that's selected in it and there you go great so that's the what I wanted to point out in the master paint kit um, but I wanted to look at this layer this file right here your decal 7 TDS 737 bottom uh, as you know it's already had the heart on there because we're gonna do this one together but now, Southwest has a heart on the bottom of their plane, uh, which requires you to put it on the bottom of the plane. Uh, that sounds very bad, but if you try to do it on here, it doesn't come out right. Tried it before, trust me. Um, it comes out really blurry and stretched. So, what you want to do is open this file, which can be found in the decal. It can be found in the base textures BMP and it's called the decal TDS737 underscore bottom. And uh, now we're kind of working with alphas here, so you know, uh, it's pretty simple. So you got this right here. This section right here is the bottom of the plane. I'm just going to select this for you right here. And uh, when looking at the master paint kit here, it, it's about the file we just selected there, it goes to about, extends to about here. And the heart goes about right here on most Southwest planes. So we have to kind of put that there, and this is run through trial and error. But uh, I kind of, after repainting these for a while, I kind of know where it goes. It goes to about right here, and about right there. So it goes to about right there. That will get us our optimal placement. And I'll go ahead and select this. So I'll just, little trick, I'll select this right here, highlight this, 
and then I'll go to your right your um, align vertical center so this will align it right in the middle of my selection of this so it's straight okay so after this you're gonna wanna go ahead and open a new layer uh, and highlight this as white I'm gonna go ahead and make this white actually all white my fault I'm gonna make this entire thing white and we're going to oh, oh, switch over to our channels layer and you notice our alpha right here. So we're going to go ahead and highlight that and unhighlight this. And we're going to want to control click our heart again. And when we select our alpha, we're going to go ahead and color it white. We're coloring it white because this will allow um, the heart to show. Anything that's black will be masked out and it won't show. So that's about it for alpha. If it's white, you'll see it. If it's black, you won't. And we're going to reselect our red, green, blue and go file save as desktop bmp save 32 bit okay so that's just about that and then after that whoops there's my recording program and from there we're going to go ahead and open this file here go ahead and do decal and we're just going to go file save as extend bitmap 32 bit 888-8 and save xx yes and that will allow for you to have a heart on the bottom of your plane and um yeah so with that heart on the bottom of the plane um it'll complete the repaint really that's what people have been missing is that heart i don't know if people don't know how to do it but just want to throw that tutorial out there and how to teach everybody that quick little fix if that's what we want to call it or that trick not trick or how to repaint that there you go but uh that'll just do it about the video i just wanted to get that out there and show people how to remove some windows and uh um recolor the doors and add the bottom heart because i don't think a lot of people know how to do this and everything I, people are scared of the alpha layer i think but it's, it's a useful tool all right guys one last quick note um when we do the windows, when you remove windows, you kind of have to go into your file here and select the self-illumination BMP. Now you're in here because since we removed windows, you're going to have to cover windows up. That may illuminate at night. And uh, so you're going to have to copy your windows over and just kind of figure out where they go. So I'm not going to do it in this video, but kind of just, well, kind of just have to play some and accordingly and see which ones are missing and then the ones that are missing just go ahead and you know, color black so they don't illuminate anymore at night and it's as simple as that and uh, that yeah so that will just about do it for the video uh, pretty sure I covered up everything I wanted to talk about and uh, I hope you guys learned how to work that alpha layer in the TDS paint kit. It's kind of hidden out there. And I uh, hope to see repaints out there.